And we're back with more of the Pope on Film. Bunny. Yes. That's my serious voice. Are you ready for another exciting, pulse-pounding, heart-stomping installment of Bunny Versus starring the incomparable Bunny Williams? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? Are you revved up and ready to go? Are you ready to do it? To do it to it? Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, we could do this. So without further ado, it's time once again for Bunny Versus. And now here is your host, Bunny Williams. Take it away, Bunny. Well, these these earlier breaks are harder to, to remember when to get back to. You know, later yeah. breaks, first off, they're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're like five minutes shorter. And then yeah. in later breaks, then I would, like, Slim Whitman would be like the last thing. Zamfir would be the last thing. Something like that. Peter Lemongello. Yeah. So when I'm sitting in the next yeah. room having a cigarette, and I see Peter Lemongello come up, it's like, okay, I gotta get back. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I, I, yeah. I, in these earlier ones that I did, I don't have that same trigger. Yeah, it, that makes sense. So how are you doing, sir? Uh, I have a lot to talk about, but I know, Bunny, that you came up with a game, so I'm just gonna rip through everything that's going on with me. Or do you want to do that? Or uh, do you was... want to do that first? Do you want to jump straight to uh, the game and then? Uh, let, let me talk about my shit because I got a bunch of my shit. Number one, Ed Asner just died. Yes. This is breaking on Twitter two hours ago. He died at age ninety-one. He died at age holy shit. He was still alive. Yeah. Which with a lot of people die at that age. Oh, this person died at age... Shit, he was still alive. Fuck. It was the age that Ed Asner died. So, uh, uh, our condolences. Thoughts and prayers, whatever we're supposed to say. Uh, number two, this was Maxwell's first week of virtual school. Uh, so, he, he is officially in school now. Virtual school. Uh, uh, he did a full week of work. He's doing about three to three and a half hours sometimes... He, he's doing about three to four hours of work every day, Monday through Friday, of nonstop work. No, yeah. uh, well, he's doing, like, he's doing like two hours, and then he gets an hour break where he has lunch and can watch things on YouTube, play, whatever he wants. And then he goes back, and usually we do an hour or two when we come back. So he's doing school. It is really weird for him to do virtual school where it's just him and I. And not yeah. Bella yelling and cussing, and not Eleanor demanding most of my attention. It's weird to be just Maxwell and I, but I think this is going to be really good for him because uh, Maxwell is going to be ten next month. And you know, ever you know, I for a while I was complaining that like I've been surgically attached to these children since March of 2020. The pandemic happened, and I just haven't gotten a moment to myself. But what I forget is Maxwell's the same way. Yeah. That, like, I've been a surgically attached to my five-year-old sister 24-7 for a year. So I think it's going to be really good for him to sort of get time by himself and to have me there to guide him. I think it's going to really help him out. Number yeah. two... Uh, I've been having the worst. But the only thing, like, the only thing I, I find that's a, that's really problematic with uh, virtual schooling like that, it, it, it's really the virtual bullying because you have to make an appointment now. Well, I want Maxwell to have a one hundred percent accurate high school experience, which is why I purchased a locker just so that I can shove him in there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a good. A lot good, of wedgies. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I've been I've been bullying him in real time. So that's because I, I I have heard so many times that bullying is really really good, and character building. 
you know, so it's got to be a part of the edu- part of the the virtual school education. And I'm glad you got that locker that you're taking steps. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely taking steps to it. Uh, number two. Uh, Natasha and I, we think, have come up with a solution to my sleeping problems. I've been having these sleeping problems. I, I, I've been having a problem going to sleep. Yeah. Like I, like, I will be tired, but then my mind will be like, no, we can't go to sleep yet. We can't go to sleep until we're absolutely exhausted. So sometimes I'm staying up until, you know, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1 a.m., but then I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to make sure that Eleanor is awake and ready for school. And then Bella is awake and ready for school. And, oh, Bella missed the bus, then I have to drive Bella. And then when I get back, it's time to make sure that Maxwell is fed and Maxwell is dressed so he can do virtual school. And so that virtual school can be done in time for me to pick up Eleanor. And then uh, Bella gets off of school, and it's, it's really stressful. And so I've been having a hard time sleeping. And I've been getting, like five to six hours every night and for some people that's fine but but it, i i just i've been getting really exhausted and then it's just like a routine that stephen wright used to do that my sleeping now is like those world war ii movies where it's like five guys and i'll take the first shift yeah but it's just me and there's nothing out there so i've been waking up like four or five or six times a night and I can't go back to sleep, and it's just, it's been fucking horrible. So Natasha was talking with a friend, and a friend of hers gets really paranoid and really, uh, you know, has, like, um, um, mental problems, and what they do is, is that one time during the week, usually around the weekend, uh, what they will do is, they'll get really fucking high. Yeah. Like crazy fucking high, and that's like the reset. And uh, I wasn't fully on board with that until last weekend when I had a medicinal ice cream shake <coughs> and slept better than I've ever fucking slept in my life. So now Natasha and I have come to the agreement that if I want a good night's sleep once a week, I just got to get blitzed out of my fucking mind. Yeah. So that's what we're doing now. Once a week during the weekend, my wife is getting me crazy fucking hot. I, and I'm actually getting able, able to get a decent night's sleep. So that's good. We're doing that now. And speaking of uh, weed, I am unofficially working with a medicinal marijuana company. So there's that. Uh, I talked about this a little bit on Twitter. I'm trying to find it. So I did a video where I taste tested uh, medicinal marijuana infused ice cream. And I posted it not on my kids channel, but on my adult channel that I've had for forever. And I got a message from someone from the company. They're called OK Nice Cream. And they said, uh, shoot us an email. So I shot them an email, and I was worried at first. And I was like, uh, yes, uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope it, you guys weren't upset with it. Do you want me to take it down? Is everything all right? And they said, everything's fine. We all watched it at our headquarters, and we thought it was hilarious. And so. Yada, yada, yada. I spent an hour talking with the founder of the company. Yeah. uh, Three days ago. It wasn't a job interview, but it sure as shit felt like it. The guy I talked to, his name was Daryl. The guy, he's, he's like one of the two founders of the entire company. And he is, he, you can tell that he used to be a veteran and that he used to work in the police before leaving the police to start a medicinal marijuana company because he's just one of those people where it's like, well, let me tell you something, Steve. Let me tell you something that I like about you. We're on the same page. You're a forward thinker. You know, you and I, 
you know, what I like about you is you're a straight shooter. You know, you're a straight shooter. You're just telling it like it is. I also feel that you and I, you know, we, we have had the same experiences with medicinal marijuana. Let me tell you something that happened to me when I was uh, in the war. So I was stationed in Korea, and it's like, he was a talker. He was a bit of a talker. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I ended up doing two videos about yeah. where I taste tested the marijuana ice cream. And the next thing I know, the president of the company and I are talking for about an hour. And so the company is, uh, for, the first thing they're doing is they're sending me a bunch of merch. They're sending me shirts and masks and maybe some hoodies, hopefully. They're really expensive, but hopefully they're sending me some of that. A bunch of merch. And then later on, the president, who lives like on the other side of Oklahoma City, will be traveling to my town to drop off new products that I can then do on the channel. So it's not that they're going to be sponsoring my YouTube videos, but they will be giving me some free products so I can do more videos on. And in the future, with, the, with their marijuana dispensary, what they're hoping to do is maybe start a podcast, maybe start uh, doing YouTube videos, maybe start filming testimonials where we interview people who, just normal people who have used the product, maybe do this other thing. They have a whole bunch of ideas that they might want to do, but whatever they do, they want me at the center of it. So, it, 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 so I awesome. am unofficially maybe working with a marijuana company. Nice. Anyway. It, it it was really nice. The guy at the end of the like hour conversation, he's like, well, my wife is finally here, so I got to let you go. But let me tell you something, Steve. You go ahead and save this number, okay? My name is Daryl. Save this number. You can always give me a call if you have any other questions. Or even, heck, even if you want to shoot the shit. You seem like an amazing guy, and I had a blast talking with you. Uh, love the YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, we will be getting in touch with you. And it's like, okay, thanks. You almost made me late to go see Reminiscence. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, so I might be working with with a marijuana, with an edible company. So cool. that's exciting. And uh, the final thing is, I've got to, a great to idea. Which, to which I just want to say, Incredibles, call me. Okay? Call me. Huh? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And then the final thing. Hear me out, Bunny. Stoner vampire movie. Okay. It's a vampire. He's like 150 years old. He hates being a vampire, and he absolutely wants this to end. And he's like, I hate living for so long, and I want this to end. And what's this? Marijuana? Well... I don't know if this will have an effect on me. Let me just try. Oh, man, this is a f fucking shit. So it's a stoner vampire. Okay. I don't know if anyone has done this before, but what I was thinking of is that basically you get the dude from the Big Lebowski, but also he's the undead. I don't think anyone has made a stoner vampire movie, but I think this is a great idea. It's like, oh no, oh no, are you going to kill me? And he's like, fucking, I don't know. Do you want to die? No. Well, fucking fine then. Do you know anybody well, who does? Well, he's still got to like, eat. He's yeah, still I mean, got like, to yeah, eat. Still gotta... and, and imagine a That's stoner vampire funny. getting the munchies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, the stoner vampire gets the munchies. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe he works at a suicide hotline. And it's like, fucking, I can help you out. Fucking, just come to my house. And like, like it, there's no doors. Every door is just beads. And it's like, I, I, shit, more beads. There's just beads yeah, I, everywhere. And he's, I, I can really see the like whole him movie. working with the suicide hotline. I really like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, he can still feed. And he's helping people out. But I like the idea of, like, a stoner vampire. Just the dude 
and he's a vampire. You yeah. know? It's a great original idea. No one has had this idea. Uh, verbal copyright, 2021. The Pope on film and Undead Cow Studio. This is our idea. Stoner Vampire. Great idea. Okay, so okay, okay. 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 I can okay. I can see Wait. the entire film in my head. But so now he need, he needs friends and things like that. We need some other characters in here. So now I, I I think that this stoner vampire is always denying that he is a vampire, but he's stoned, so he keeps coming out with this weird little shit. And that just says he's a vampire. So like okay so. All right, so the cops were chasing you down the road, and you're running. Like, so why didn't you just turn into a bat? You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 like he um, would he would have tells, yeah. like big ass obvious tells that he's a vampire, dude. What's while up with denying your teeth? that he is dude, a what's vampire. Up with your Dude, what's up with your teeth? And he's like, nothing. And he's trying to push him back up. Like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. nothing. It's fine. I'm allergic to celery. Yeah. <laughs> I got this thing. It's called pointy teeth syndrome. It, you know, I've been to specialists. Yeah. No, I like but, that. It, it's a decent idea. I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't think anyone has done a stoner vampire. Now is the time. Yes. Strike while the iron is hot, because then you have a cold iron. Anyway, that's how I've been doing. Bunny, how are you? I I have been okay. Nothing particularly uh, interesting to report. I was very disappointed in Black Widow. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I liked the May Queen in it, but there's no reason for me to see it again. It's and like it's, and, and like this is and, fine, and for me it's like kind of like the final straw, and I'm feeling like, oh fucking go get him, Scarlet, fuck those Disney bitches up. I mean, cause yeah. they've been screwing her. From the goddamn beginning, you know, without having toys, waiting fucking forever for her to get a movie, and then this is the movie? And also, I have wondered that, like, hey, when all these people signed up to make Mulan, there's no way that they, that they knew when they signed up for it that like hey it's also going to be released on disney plus like there's no way that they knew about that but were they warned before they announced this that your movie would be in theaters and also you can pay extra to have it on disney plus and that disney plus money do the actors get that yeah or is that a separate thing and so I like Scarlett Johansson, like, uh, suing because that's a serious thing. A lot of times, like, like, hey, I'm starring in this film. I get points of, of the frickin' back end or whatever. I get a percentage yeah. of the box office gross. And I'm pretty sure that that does not include the money that fucking HBO Plus is getting for also showing Space Jam on their streaming service. So fucking yeah. good for you, Scar Joe. Sue those motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, it's Black just Widow, what... Black Widow just looked like they didn't much care. Yeah. About the plot. If anything, it should have come out right after Civil War and not now. Yeah. Then I might have liked it more, but it seems like oh, too little, too late. I do, I did not like. Eh. I saw Captain Marvel seven times in theaters. I saw uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse four times. I saw Black Widow once, and it's like okay, 
that's enough. I'm yeah, and good. I, and, and I also find, like, I'm just not particularly interested in this type of Marvel story. And, like, that's just a personal preference. But, like, you know, the Black Widow movie, well, that was, I don't know if we could even count it, because she didn't get a fair shot yeah. at a movie, if you ask me. But, like, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Captain America, and, and those type, the more, oh... I don't find them as fun as more fantastic Marvel movies. I love Loki, and I love right, Wanda like Lo- like Loki or or Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy. Something that's yeah. more fanciful. It's something that's not quite as ground in the world. Yeah, yeah, okay. As so, Captain America, Black Widow is. Yeah, it like. Like, hey, you know what, Black Widow? You were a fine movie. Why don't you go hang out over over uh, at the boat with Bucky? Yeah. Why don't you go hang out at that boat and just... You guys can be in this little corner of the MCU, and I'll just hang out with the rest of the people. It, it, like, like it's imp- these stories are still important to the Marvel Universe, you know? And I want to know what's going on there, but I feel like I could, I could get away with a digest. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't have to watch the show. I can go watch a YouTube video about the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's what I do with professional wrestling. I, I watch Wrestle Talk on yeah. YouTube. And they summarize all of the wrestling shows in five minutes or less. And I really like it because they do not hold back punches when it comes to, hey, guess what? This episode of Raw sucked again. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm a big fan of support Wrestle Talk. Big yeah. fan of that. Other than that, I'm interested in seeing what goes on with Spider Man now that the new trailer dropped. I have been trying to catch up on 2021 movies that I have missed, and so I saw two movies this week. I saw, um, what did I see? I saw a horror movie, what horror, I saw two horror movies? What did I see? Hold on. Uh, Saint Maud. Okay. Which I liked. It's, it's very short, kind of a body horror slash religious horror movie. And I liked it. And then I saw a movie called Werewolves Within. And holy fucking shit, I am in love with this movie. Yeah? I am in love with this movie. I am in love with this movie. It, it's a horror, thriller, whodunit, werewolf comedy. And it's got a great cast. It features Guillermo, the vampire f- familiar from what we do in the shadows, the TV series. It features um, uh, so many other people. Uh, Lily from AT and from the AT and T commercials, who was also on the show Other Space, which I was really obsessed with for a while. Yeah. Only lasted one season. Should have lasted a lot more. And it stars the black guy from the show Detroiters, who also sang one of my favorite songs. Who will be the baby? Be of the year from I think you should leave with Tim Robinson which is the greatest show in the history of television <laughs> I love this show I am obsessed with it and I have found that there is a whole subculture all throughout Twitter of people who are also obsessed with it and I'm really excited because it's like when I was into Syphil and Ollie or when I was into Cheap Seats, except now there's others out there yeah. who are like, yes, I am also obsessed with this. And so, uh, it, like, I have a purse, and I've started carrying it around all the time, and it's not even a gender-fluid thing. It's just awesome to have a fucking purse. It's yeah. just so great 
to have a bag filled with all of my shit. And so I have a button on it, and it says, uh, Bart Harley Jarvis. He's the bad boy of the Baby of the Year pageant. Oh, I'm really proud of my Bart Harley Jarvis. So anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a movie, Werewolves Within, and it's based on a VR video game. And, oh, it's, it's one of my favorite movies of the year. It's like, it's not Barb and Star, but it's maybe like number two or number three. Really? It's a, it's so much fucking fun. One of these people might be, one of the people in the town might be a deadly werewolf. Or maybe there's no werewolf. But people are gonna die. And it's just so much fun. And it's violent, but it's not gory. It's yeah. more funny. And there's a lot of things to quote in it. And the cast is incredible. And I'm just fucking in love with the film. And I can't stress it enough. It only played in a very small amount of movie theaters. But oh my god, Werewolves Within. One of the best films of the year. Kicks, kicks Black Widow's ass. Yes. Everyone should watch Werewolves Within. Sorry, I know this is your time of funny verses, but I just wanted <laughs> no, to get right. that out. Werewolves Within, so much fucking fun. We might do it. We, we have to do it. It's the best. Yeah. So what, what else do you have? That's it. I swear, that, that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah, I swear that's it. Well, then then let's get on. I mean, game, it's not exactly a game. It's, you know, okay. but but now that people are taking horse dewormer and <laughs> bleeding out of their asses. I I want to rank the stupid. Okay. I want to go through some of the things that these people have been up to and rank them. Because, like, Horse Dewormer, I find, well, it's impressive. It is. It's not as good as trying to stick your car keys to your forehead, but it's <laughs> impressive. So yeah. this this is the general idea. I want us to rate from one to ten right wing stupidity. And I have a list. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm gonna get a pen. I got a pen. Uh I need a piece of paper. I can't write it on my notes. And I have put this up as a poll in the group. Oh, fucking, okay, I'll just go to the group. So if you're, oh, oh there you go. Oh, well, I was going to read them off to you. Okay, well, well do it, but I, I need a list so I can, to help with the ranking. But you go ahead. Oh. <coughs> so in no terrible particular order, Jade Helm. Remember oh, Jade shit, I forgot Helm about that. We were going to invade and take over Texas. Yeah, Jade As Helm's if Texas 15. was not already part of the country, we, we do not need to invade them. <laughs> totally forgot about Jade Helm 13, yeah. Yes. So on a, on a scale from like 1 to 10, how stupid would you rate Jade Helm? I would say like I would say like a three. I would say like a three or a four. It's yeah. got to be up there because it's insanity that like. Well, ten it, would be ten would be the stupidest. Oh, ten would be the stupidest. I thought one would be the stupidest. Yeah. If 10 I, is the stupidest, I can't help then, thinking, like... I, I, if I think ratings, it's always some variation of star ratings. Yeah. So, yeah, 10. Okay. Uh, then, then maybe, like, 7. Okay. 
Well, I, 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 I think we've seen much stupider since that. Well, well, it upsets me the idea that like, oh, Trump wants to be president for uh, Trump wants to be president until like 2030, and he wants to be 100 percent in charge, and he wants to be a dictator, and this and that. But then when a when a Democrat comes in. And Republicans are fine with that. Republicans are fine with Trump becoming a mad dictator and killing all of his political rivals. But then once a Democrat comes along and says, hey, we're going to make sure that everyone is nice, automatically the Republicans go, the Republicans go oh shit, he's going to come for our guns, and then he's going to lock us in camps, and then he's going to burn the Bible, and then he's going to kill LeVar Burton, and then he's going to shit on the American flag, and then we're all going to die! And like, but then when a Republican comes in, and it's like, okay, first things first, we're going to kill all the brown people. And it's like, yes, yes, exactly. This is fine. This is 100% okay with us. So I think you are saying that Jade Helm 13, like we've seen crazier things, but I think that we shouldn't forget of the importance of how Republicans keep thinking this or a different yeah. oh, oh. version of this. That Jade, that Jade Helm 13 is just a like Pizzagate with different steps. Well, you know? yes. No, 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 no. We're not, we, we are judging strictly stupidity here. Yeah. We, we, we are not we are, we are not rating uh, in, according to its importance or its social impact or anything like that. Just for flat out stupid bullshit they've come up with. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Then, so so I would totally agree. Yes, Jade Helm is, is a significant event in right-wing stupidity. Yes. And so are many other many of the other ones on the list. Are they the stupidest though? Okay. So continue. So are they stupid like the next one? Mr. Potato Head's genitals. Republicans' entire political strategy is just fear based. Yes. So anytime something happens that like Hey, it's weird that we're gendering this plastic doll. Maybe we can make it more gender friendly. Oh my God, they're coming to steal our Mr. Potato Heads, and after that, it's camps, and oh my God, it's the Holocaust. So, yeah. That like everything leads to the Holocaust. They're pushing back James Bond. Yeah, the everything's leading. Time? Okay, Why wait a second, wait a second. Everything's leading to the Holocaust movie. for the fucking Holocaust deniers who would sure as shit straight start the next fucking Holocaust given yeah. the goddamn chance. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. What were you saying? Uh, I was just trying to come up with a, it just everything leads to the Holocaust for yeah. Republicans. When a white person is even slightly inconvenienced. Oh, well, you mean to tell me I can't go into the gym and work out? You know, this is the first thing that they did in Germany when the Nazis took over. And it's like, okay, just because a white person is slightly inconvenienced doesn't mean that it's a uh, concentration camp. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But... Mr. Potato Head is pretty crazy. I would, I would rate that more than I would rate Jade Hell. Yes. Okay. So you want to go maybe an eight on that? Yeah. Okay. So what else? Uh, I I think I'm just trailing one behind you each one, but then again, I know the list. <laughs> yeah. Okay. JFK Jr. coming back from the dead to fight pedophiles by Trump's side. Uh, I've got a picture. I've got a picture. I have got a picture. And I'm already in my pictures. Hold on, let me just keep scrolling here. 
I've got pictures. I got a picture here somewhere. I was I was driving through the neighborhood. I was a bit early to pick up Bella from the high school. So I'm driving around the neighborhood. There you go. And I found a house that's obviously owned by an old person. Here, let me turn off the ring light. So it, it's a house and they have oh, a bunch Lord. of Trump 20 They have a bunch of Trump 2020 flags and there's a tiny Trump uh, sign here and so I, zooming in to the sign you can see that it's a Trump 2020 sign but they got scotch tape and they covered over Pence and put JF Kennedy Jr. <laughs> nice! And like it's one thing to have that on your lawn in 2019 but in 2021, to still be rocking this sign, convinced that JF Kennedy Jr. is alive and yeah. he's a Republican and is coming back to life, that's fucking ridiculous. Yes. But there is a certain validity to it because if you are going to be seeking out pedophiles, first place to look is Trump sides. Microphone. Yes. <laughs> you know, you want to find a pedophile? Who is Trump standing next to? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but... Yeah, I find that insane. I find that insane. Like, how did they pick the liberal Democrat? I don't understand that. I don't understand the fact that they think that longtime Democrat from a Democratic <coughs> family faked his death and went Republican. Like, like, why would you even... Fun fact, on his deathbed, Ronald Reagan said, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have put crack in all of those black neighborhoods. You know what, I'm a Democrat now. And then he died. Yeah. So... Those were his last words. His last words were, hey, everybody, I'm a Democrat now. And then he died. So, uh, yeah, Ronald but, Reagan was a Democrat. Yeah. But, but, but JF, picking JFK Jr., putting aside that he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's, like, that's like picking Chelsea Clinton. That is weird. That is weird. Like, that that matching is so fucking bizarre. Yeah. Damn, damn it, I would put that ahead of Mr. Potato Head. And, and he... He... And, like, it's not like he was the conservative, the conservative of the family. Yep. He was probably the most liberal yet. <laughs> He, so I, he, I don't. His I don't magazine. Get, huh? His goddamn magazine, attacking every Republican and every goddamn issue. George. I I I I, I don't quite get their 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 mindset. Are, are are they expecting him to turn heel and then then he's on their side or, you know, like. JFK Jr. comes running in with a steel chair and smacks Joe Biden in the head. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. So what do you think of that? I would, in fact, put that higher than Mr. Potato Head. I might put Mr. Potato Head before Jade Helm 13. Because I'm still a big fan of that one. Well, well... You have J, uh, you have Jade Helm at seven. You have Mr. Potato Potato Head's genitals at eight, and JFK would be at nine then. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay. And I'm gonna be straight up. This is this is my favorite, and you can probably tell because I've mentioned it a lot. So. Personally, I'm going ahead and giving this one a 10. COVID shots make you magnetic. 
Yeah, that that is pretty fucking insane. I think that is just the absolute stupidest thing on so many fucking levels. You're just sweaty. You're just (laughs) sweaty whites. Even if the entire fucking vial, even if the entire COVID shot was made up of magnetic fibrings, fiber, magnetic, magnetic flakes. Oh my god, Bunny, I just put a nickel on my forehead and it's stick. Oh my it's god. It's stuck. Oh my god, I'm magnetic. It has nothing to do with the fact that the air conditioner is off and I'm sweating like a fucking pig because it's the goddamn summer. No, <laughs> I'm magnetic from the fucking vaccine. Yeah, yeah. But what makes oh it my funnier... God. This is all the proof I need. But what makes it funnier is now do that in front of a political hearing. Yeah, yeah. Do that a, a Walk a up to that rally. microphone for your local yeah. congressman. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not magnetic anymore. And we're not supposed to believe that you're raving fucking maniacs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the evidence is just mounting on this list itself that these people are raving maniacs because it's like it's Absolutely. like wait we got more I think we're halfway through the one two three this is the fourth God okay we are just okay, give to me the some point more. of this list yeah. okay so what rating are you gonna give this um. I would say before JFK Jr. But yeah. above everything else is what I would say. So maybe an eight for that? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Seuss being canceled. I'm so happy I am no longer the manager of a children's oh. department of a bookstore. Oh, God, yeah. I I really miss working at the bookstore because I worked there for about 18 years, and it was an important part of my life, and I miss it. And then suddenly, oh, you know, these liberals are canceling Dr. Seuss. We need to buy all the Dr. Seuss we can because, you know, cancel culture has gotten out of control. You know these goddamn liberals, and it's like, thank fucking God I don't work there anymore. Fuck! Praise Jeebus that I don't fucking work in the kids section anymore. Yeah. Because that would have driven me fucking insane. Yeah. Insane. Fuck! I don't know if this necessarily counts as stupid, though. Okay? This is more of the fucking lengths you would go to to defend your racism. Yeah, that just shows me that, like... The Dr. Seuss thing is ridiculous because people are like... hey, these three obscure Dr. Seuss books have some racist imagery in it, and we're going to stop publishing these. And then uh, White America went, they're canceling Dr. Seuss, but there's nothing wrong with Green Eggs and Ham. There's nothing wrong with the Lorax. And it's like, yeah, that shows me that you only know four Dr. Seuss books, and you haven't read all of them. You've never read McElligot's Pool. (laughs) You've never read... The 10,000 hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. Yeah. You've never seen the 10,000 fingers of Dr. T? (laughs) You don't know your Dr. Seuss. You don't know all of the... You've never seen the fucking racist as shit World War II cartoons that he drew. You, you, You do not know your Dr. Seuss, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and, like... 
And I... And I don't personally think like bad, bad Dr. Seuss because I expect certain behaviors from people from certain periods of time. You know? Where you could be like the most liberal racist. You know? Yes. Absolutely. You know? Where... where I, I, I'm not surprised that Dr. Seuss maybe had some certain racist views. Because yeah. everybody fucking did. Yeah. Everybody Absolutely. still does, or too goddamn many of us. Yeah. You know, so like, I mean, I, I, I bet you we turn a shovel or two on Stan Lee, we're going to find some shit. And in fact, Rhodey yeah. from Iron Man was racist as shit. Yep. Agreed. You could not have a black Marvel character who did not speak some form of jive. Yes. Yeah. You know? What was it that Luke Cage used to say? Um, Sweet Christmas! That's yeah. what he used to say. Yeah. 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 So, so... Yes, stupidity is involved for, for the point that you raised that some people just don't know they're Dr. Seuss. Therefore, Dr. Seuss can't be bad. But I really feel it's more of a, a defensive racist posture than stupid. So I'm going to score this one pretty low. I'm going to give this one a three. Yeah, I, I would put this lowest. And again... It's not that I'm saying that this was a good thing or anything. I just don't feel it was it was stupid. In it the wasn't way stupid. these other things are stupid. It was just it wasn't stupid. It was just that a lot of Americans think they know Dr. Seuss, but he wrote things other than Horton Hears a Who, The Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham and the Lorax. He wrote a lot more. Yeah. And, okay. I, it, it, one of the books that got canceled was a well, book that, that I, I actually agree with, though. That um, I agree that is stupid. Yeah. yeah. It is stupid, but... And, and then, and then uh, what's his name? Uh, Ted Cruz is like... Uh, Democrats are trying to cancel Dr. Seuss, so I'm going to do something that Democrats hate. I'm going to read Green Eggs and Ham. And it's like, okay, okay, uh, that's not what we're having an issue with. We're not canceling all of Dr. Seuss, you fucking idiot. He wrote some books, and some of them had some really racist shit in them. Well, but there were also a lot of people who were directly defending the racist shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that a lot of people who were defending Dr. Seuss just didn't know that these things existed, because it's like, they can't cancel Dr. Seuss. I've read The Cat in the Hat a bunch of times, and there's nothing bad in there. And it's like, yeah, there's nothing bad in there. The he movie, fucking different fucking story. Yeah. Okay, so so what do you think for Dr. Seuss? That's, that's lowest on the list so far. So you go on one? Yeah. Okay. Just as a broad topic, and, and a couple of these run together, hydrochloroquine. And basically the hydrochloroquine that, that most of them were looking at using were the fish tank cleaners. I just feel like all of that was a Republican scam that like, shit, I own stock in this weird thing. How do I make money off of it? I don't know. I'll say that it works for the coronavirus and that it's less stupid, but more like like you fell for a robo call, you know? Yeah. Like it's just a scam that a bunch of dumbass people uh, fell for. 
But I wouldn't really call it stupid. I would put that above Dr. Seuss. Okay. So let's go two on that. Yeah, it feels more something being perpetrated on stupid people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, then... Stupid people would not know about hydrochloroquine unless somebody told them. Yeah. You know? Okay, yeah. so let's go two. Okay. I need a I need a breath for this one. A bit of a drink. <clears throat> Dates for Donald Trump's reinstatement, January 20th, March 4th, by the end of April, June 8th, June 4th, August 13th. I got a viral tweet um, on one of those dates. It had, it's been seen a uh, 100,000 times. It's gotten over 1,000 likes. Uh, August 13th was one of the dates, and I tweeted, Trump was going to have his reinstatement day inauguration at the White House, but Rudy rooted it all up, and now his inauguration will be at the Love's Truck Stop at 1001 Highway 76 in White House, Tennessee. Yes! <laughs> so update your plans accordingly. Hashtag Trump reinstatement. And it exploded on me. It, 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 it got over a thousand likes. And a lot of people liked the whole Rudy Rudy it up. Yeah. But uh, some people were upset because I chose an actual truck stop and gave the actual address of an actual truck stop yeah. in an actual city called White House, Tennessee. And a lot of people were very upset with me about that. That, like, for the love of God, please do not send these idiots our way. White House, Tennessee is a beautiful part of the country, and you're fucking it all up. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is fucking stupid. This is really fucking stupid. I don't know why so many people are listening <coughs> to a pillow salesman and former crack addict. Yes. So okay. I would rate this. I would rate this pretty high. But, you know, I would have to rate this pretty high because, like, seriously, how many times do you have to hear the same thing before you realize somebody's bullshitting you? Yeah. You know, like, it's like almost like that fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me thing. Like, if you fell for the January 20 date, oh... If you fell for the January 20 date, fine. You know? Yeah, that's stupid, but they suck you in with the story you bought it. Okay. Happens. But then they sell you the same shit again for March 4th? And then yeah. they sell you the same shit again by the end of April? And June 8th, and June, Ju uh, July 4th, and August 13th? Like, come on. Come on. I That's would also tack... Huh? I would also, I would also tack on to this one the idea that we're going to get rid of Joe Biden, and then we're going to get rid of Kamala Harris, and then the army is just going to come in and reinstate Trump. Like... That's not how it You're works. Glowing. The, the army can't just come in. We're not Venezuela. Yeah. You know? We're not... The army can't just come in. They're, they're not... That's not how America works. <laughs> And I don't know why you are clinging to this idea that the arm is just going to come moment. in and go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a pretty tenuous thread on how America works these days. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Uh, so you think a nine or ten or you want high? Yeah. 
Um, what's at 10 right now? We don't have a 10 yet. We don't have a 10 yet. Okay. Let's just put it at 10 for now. Okay. Horse dewormer. The new hydroxychloroquine. Horse dewormer. Which we now know makes you shit yourselves. Makes you shit yourself like crazy. Yes. Apparently there's a lot of private Facebook groups for people taking the horse dewormer. And I, I followed someone. Fun things. Yeah, I and followed some someone. Frightening on, things. Yeah, I followed someone on Twitter who who uh, got into a couple of them, and yeah, there are people who are just like, I've been taking twenty whatevers of uh, this horse dewormer, and I shit myself at the Walmart. <laughs> Am I taking too much? How much horse dewormer should I be taking? I don't want to shit myself again. And it's like, yeah, okay. Shitting yourself and getting yourself in the emergency room to own the libs. Yeah. Good for you. You really got life all figured out. Good for you. Wow. Us libs sure were sure have been put in our place by you shitting yourself at the Walmart. Uh huh. But I also think it's it falls under the the hydrochloroquine. Yeah. Kind of yeah. thing. That they, like, they would not... These people are not smart enough to come up on the, with shit like this on their own. So first they're told about it, and then they're just buying it because they're fucking stupid. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I do not see a reason for... Sh there's no... No nice way around it. This stupid. Are they ignorant uh, or are they? Naive? I would put it around a five. Or are they just idiots? Like they're middle of the road. Stupid. What? I would put it around a five, like around the middle of the road, because yeah, I would say that these people were scammed, but also. It does take a certain level of stupidity to say, I'm going to beat this deadly pandemic by taking a dangerous amount of horse dewormer. That sounds exactly up my alley, you know? Yeah. Like, so I put that around the middle of the list. Okay, so I'm hitting that at about a five. Yeah. So, adrenochrome. Or baby brain juice. Okay, so we, well, it's a known fact that the star of Forrest Gump eats babies. Yes. I think everybody knows that now. Forrest Gump eats children. Right? That's just yes. a fact. It's science. Well, so just, just let me just recap that one quick. Yes. In case anybody else forgot. And because, like, Jeannie sounded like she needed a little bit of a reminder. This is what the evil cabal of pedophiles, you know, being the Clintons, which may be partially true. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks and, like, all of Hollywood are all part of the satanic cabal uh, and, and sacrificing babies to Satan and then extracting the adrenochrome, whatever the fuck that is, from their brains that was produced in the sacrifice. And it is, it is like a very intense acid, which also keeps them young. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. Well, f I've seen Hillary, okay? So, like, something in the satanic ritual just ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, last time I saw, wasn't holding up all that bad. But I'm really expecting to see him fall to shit any moment now. So, you know. Bill Clinton's going through his Brando phase right now. 
Yeah. See, now, the thing about this list... And I think I'm going to have to go a good seven on that one. Yeah, that's that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty stupid. Now, the thing about the, this list, and we only have one more, is I'm thinking of revisiting it, because I think we could, use, we could do the same list from different perspectives. Yeah. Like, while I think that people thinking the COVID shots make you magnetic is the epitome of stupidity. And in my opinion, that's what reaches the peak for the most stupid. Okay? Yeah. But, hey, I'm a horror fan, okay? Adrenochrome, baby brain juice, that's my personal favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That is you know, pretty good. I don't think it's the stupidest, but... It's pretty stupid. Like, I think Anton LaVey, if he was alive, would have approved that. <laughs> you would have been like, sure, okay. <laughs> and then finally, the last in the list, Drinking Bleach. Drinking bleach. Drinking bleach. I feel that that has to be just one above horse dewormer. They're like, yeah, that's pretty stupid. But also, I feel that... Yeah, Trump was just being an idiot, and he conned a bunch of idiots. Yeah. You know? But you really, but but if you're gonna, if you're going to drink bleach, you are so stupid that you barely have survival skills. Yeah. That you are still alive is by sheer chance. Yeah, yeah. If all it takes is for an obviously stupid president to say drink bleach and you're drinking bleach. Yeah, that that does require a certain level of stupidity. Like it seems like these are the people that you can literally tell just anything. And not just drinking bleach, but injecting it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to go pretty high on that. So, I think we're coming out with, though, you think the Trump reinstatement dates... Oh, let's just finish it up. I'm going to chuck that a seven. What do you think, a seven on that, drinking bleach? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, so for you, you're going with, as your number ten... Dates of Trump reinstatement. Yeah. And I'm going with sticking magnets to yourself. Sticking car keys to yourself. Well, to be fair, Ben Nickel stayed on me for a long time, so that yeah. just proves that there's a microchip in my bloodstream. So. Well, did you did you get the Pfizer? Which one did you get? I I I got I got this special Dollar Tree book brand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, so I don't know what that one was. It was just a guy named Eddie behind the Dollar Tree, and he said, "I'll inject you." Well, it if I'm not mistaken, bucks, so. if I'm not mistaken, those are the, <laughs> the Dollar Tree brand is basically just a Kroger brand that just didn't pass quality. Yeah. So, Kroger brand, yeah. Yes. So that is it. If you want to participate in the poll, it is in the Facebook group, so you can go uh, give your own opinion on what you think is the stupidest. And again, remember, it is the stupidest, not necessarily the most dangerous or anything else. Uh, Bunny, I think that this has been a very wonderful and enlightening segment. 
so much so that maybe you should cut it from Bunny Versus and have it be its own bit, just really? from an editing standpoint. Okay, maybe. So that Bunny Versus isn't just like super long. I just think it would benefit from people listening to our countdown of stupidity without having to listen to how my week went. <laughs> okay. So, fair just, enough. Strictly from an editing standpoint. Wow, that. Well, it's not that it wouldn't be the first time that I that I mean you you identified it this time, but I've made that call on other things yeah. where it should be clipped out for its own thing. Yeah. And grabbed it just out of a section. So. Yeah. No. But this has been a there. this is this has been a really fun game. Good. Good. I, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed it. And if okay. anybody wants to participate, it's in the group. But then what? is up with chap this week i've got a short sharp chap about a very important and overlooked aerospace engineer who was vital to nasa and vital to getting man on the moon and it's a story <coughs> that i think more people should know and at the end there's a twist there's a Shyamalan that I'm really excited to, 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 to lay on people. Uh, and we really should have discussed this before the show, but are you uh, going to that website and taking over? Oh, I totally forgot about all of that. Okay, or are you going to cue me when you want to switch? or? Sure, sure. I'll cue you when I want okay. you to switch. All right. Well, in that case, let us get on over there and... For this week, this is Bunny versus saying self adhesive tape. Yes, please. It's a great ending line. And nobody liked my Scott Bayo video that I made. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Scott Bayo. <laughs> I felt inspired after Baby Geniuses to see Scott Bayo get punched in the face. Yeah. Over and over again. Yeah, I cut that out and put it on my <laughs> put it on my Twitter. Yeah. And cut on that. Cut on 